talking about a very common uh, skill we need to know when using Photoshop, and that's cropping an image. So I have a picture of my dog here in a big field, and I would like to essentially change the image so that it just consists of, you know, more of my dog and less of the field. Essentially, I'd like to turn it into this, okay? Same image, it's just closer in. I've removed some information about the background or some of the image uh, in the outskirts. So I've made something easy, sound complicated. It's just called cropping. We're basically just changing it, the size of the image, to be include less image data. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the crop tool. And that's over on the toolbox. Uh, it could be one of these tools. It could be a perspective crop tool, a slice tool, and a slice select tool. Uh, we'll talk about the perspective crop tool in another video. For now, we're just going to focus on the regular crop tool. So you're going to choose that tool. Now, one thing to notice, you see my border around my image is dashed lines, which means if I actually want to, I can click and hold anywhere on my image and create a box, a crop box, to crop the image. Now, once I'm there, once I've activated crop, you'll notice I don't have the dotted line around the border, and I can't actually drag to create it. You see, I can only rotate now, I can rotate the cropped area. I could resize it by using these corners, and use these arrows as well to just adjust the height on the crop. So there are ways to adjust. If you wanted to say, cancel, get me out of here, I want to start again. Well, there's a couple ways. One way is to hit the escape key. Escape's going to go right back out to the start. Again, you can use your crop tool and redrag a box that you'd like to crop. Escape does that. Another way to simply get out of cropping entirely is to just to click the crop tool again once. And it asks if you'd like to apply the crop area. If I say don't crop, again, I'm back at the beginning. I think that escape is probably your easiest way. As soon as you switch to the crop tool, you can also just jump right to these resizing handles to resize the crop area to what you'd want, and then you can make your fine tune adjustments. So there's a lot of ways to do it. Now, once you have the area of the image you'd actually like to use, at this point, usually what I do is I would hit enter. That simply confirms that's the area you want to crop. And once you've done that, you can switch to whatever other tool, and your image has now been cropped to this new size. Always, always, when you crop, um, typically you want to save a copy of the file. I don't want to overwrite that original with all the information. I would like to save this as something uh, else, so keep that in mind when you crop. And also keep in mind that you have changed the image size. You've changed the width and the height of that image, uh, and that could be something you may want to do or you may not want to do. So just keep that in mind when you are cropping an image and cutting out areas uh, around the outskirts.